Hello, it's your boy from 1996. Remember another episode of Low Standards where you see me play the games because they're the games to be played. Anyways, so we're playing a game that I played on this particular plug and play I have, which is also a portable console. For some time, it's pretty fun. Mitsume. Well, at least that's what it says on the title screen. Probably has an entirely different name, but I've been playing it and uh, it's been pretty fun. So we're gonna play it on this episode of Low Standards. It's just a simple platformer. I don't know the plot because everything's in Japanese, obviously, so I have no idea. I'm assuming you're... I don't know. I kind of forgot, like, I don't know, I could say it, but whatever. It's Buddhism or something? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't really remember what this game's pl oh, well, at least the mythologies and, like, background for what this game is trying to use in terms of its uh, characters and stuff and backgrounds and culture. They all look it up when I'm playing the game. I'll find out eventually. Hey, this game's pretty fun. One thing I like though is, um, particularly like the way you play it in a sense. You have the, um, I mean, you may only just be using the, the auto-fire keys, uh, buttons. What's great about this, uh, plug-and-play I'm using is that, um... It has, like, two different sources of powers, a pow a way... It has three different ways of powering itself up. And what's convenient about it is I have a lot of, like, of those three resources to use, so I'll be able to... Basically, keep it like eternally alive in a sense. Should be careful with this guy because this guy uh, shoot him like multiple times just to get rid of him. I didn't know that until I started playing this game again. So you can get rid of the spider enemies without having to avoid them and get hurt. But you can also get big money, so that way you can, you know, just progressively start off with the, um, one of the features that you can do in the game, which I'll get to once I get there. There we go. Let me get louder. It's like a lot lower than I thought it would be. Well, over here, you can go to a shop and you can buy power-ups. What's that noise? I didn't even notice this noise until now. I'm gonna go lower it down a bit. Is that part of the song or? I guess that was only during the shop. Right, if I hold down the but the, the the A button, I'll be able to, uh, or the B button, I'll be able to um, shoot that up, so that way I can get onto a platform. I'm just destroying all the things here. Take that. I gotta be really careful. I only have like five hit points. Oh! Oh well, what a great placement. Yeah, I should just avoid them whenever they appear. There we go. So you gotta attack them when their backs are turned. 
There we go. I try to go forward. There's no one up or anything here. Like anything to kill me, it's impossible. Whoa! I don't think that killed me. Oh! I died. The problem with that now is that now that I died, I no longer have my power-ups. Yeah, that's how it works with the power-ups in this uh, game, particularly. Is that every time you die, you lose all the progress of power-ups except for your coins. Ah, freaking water. You gotta always be wary of the water now. Oh, stupid water pushed me down. There we go. Well, I didn't get that last coin, but whatever. Oh, son of a... Oh, good, there's a shop here. Alright, let's heal up, and then we'll get the, um, the high again. You can also choose your, uh, your, your, shoot your projectile through, like, the, the start screen, which is pretty convenient. Oh shoot, I should have realized that I was there. I was gonna pass you. Alright, I'm to the first boss, which I have no clue what the name is. I don't remember this freaking game. But in order to hurt this boss, you need them to get to the enemy fire in order to. Ah! Oh! You only hurt him once after he's gotten hit by this. The project. This son of a. Oh, I got hit again. You don't project that you're really far from. Oh, I got hit again. I really got sat right into that. Oh god! Oh. There we go. And I just need to hit him. Uh, I was too low. What the fu- Oh, come on. I didn't get enough time to even run from that. Thank you. No, I didn't. Oh, come on. Wait, this projectile works is stupid. What? Oh! No, that's not fair. Whatever. Luckily, you start back from the boss, so that's convenient at the very least. Oh my god, the projectiles suck. What kind of bo make a boss do you have to dodge these things if you freaking don't get out of the freaking way? Okay, there you go. This is him throwing his projectile, which is like just a single like dart attack. Oh, oh son of a... How did that not hit him? Ah, so freaking short.
Oh my god. Oh, that's not fair. No! I think I was almost done with that. Ah! Oh, what the f Literally, with these projectiles, you, you don't really get a lot of space to, like, avoid the attacks at all. There we go. I think I found the strategy to beating him. They hate this freaking game. Oh, what the f Is he dead yet? Oh! Please be dead. I don't really want any more prolonging of this fight, I swear. Oh! I swear! Why do I have to be stuck in this one boss? This is the first freaking boss! Oh! What? I was shooting the freaking wrong way. Yo, what's up? Hey, Michelle's wondering if you can soak six more foams. Alright. Alright. There we go, I beat the boss. Took so long just to kill him. Well, this ends the freaking episode. So let's go watch the cutscene. I can't translate or I can't really read it all. I did it. So our hero defeated the annoying boss whose annoying head was too hard to hit. And we hit with a projectile of all things. And thus ends our episode here. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.